this during this quarantine i have been so lit not really worried about money having drinks at home ordering postmates listening to online types of music having a good time with my guy friend it what feels like living on a wild side it's been so fun but there's a part of me that feels as if i'm backsliding especially while the world is so health conscious why do people on this awakening journey like myself feel like we are not allowed to do these things the shameful thoughts are why you are putting these things in your body, lowering your vibration. You should be listening to affirmations instead of rap. What? No, no, girl. He's not awakened. He's not your boyfriend. Why are you having sex with him? Blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm still trapped in. I do my daily meditations, trigger work, listening to my teachers and working on manifestation, my purpose. But also I'm just living and having fun. Not so much focused on the journey as spiritual anymore. I want to embrace this fun I'm having, but wondering, am I descending or going backwards, even though it feels good? Other than working on the shame, what are your thoughts about this? I am so, 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 so glad you asked this question. I love this question, by the way, because this is so important for right now where we are. First of all, the only problem I see is the problem you're having with yourself. If it feels good, it is your higher self. Now, none of you, including me, came to learn a spiritual journey. We are, we are complete. Take a breath. Just really feel this for a minute. We are complete. None of us came here to learn a spiritual journey. We came to remember ourselves as complete. Okay, just take a breath. We are complete. We are not broken. We are, there is nothing wrong with us. Okay, yes, we have a bunch of programs in our physical body that, that move us into mindsets to have us believing certain things, to have us behaving certain ways, but none of that is who we are. None of that. Now, the fastest way into fastest way into enlightenment is not your daily affirmations. If those affirmations are feeling like work to you, throw them in the trash. Okay, I I'm going to tell you, I'm a little bit of a renegade, and I'm I definitely have like even in my teacher training, my students are like, oh my gosh, because there's literally there's no form and function to the way that I teach. I go into trance meditations with old school hip hop. Okay, I, I've never listened to meditation music in my life. I've never done affirmations and I've never read any books. I've read, oh, that's not true. I read Little Soul in the Sun and I read Course in Miracles in 2009. Okay, those are the only two books that I've ever read. Everything that I have access to in my awareness comes from the frequency of play, which is theta. When you're chilling with your boyfriend, when you're having drinks, when you're feeling safe, Right. What are the abundance frequencies? I feel safe. I feel free. I feel deserving and I feel worthy. So you'd probably have be having a much better time right now in your cocoon, in your metamorphosis, where you're literally downloading your butterfly wings while you chill. If you would let go of the shame, you'd be even more abundant right now because you did not come here to shame yourself. You did not come here for a spiritual journey. You came here to be love. You came here to share and receive love. And now if you've forgotten how to do that, yeah, you got to read some books, you got to hire a teacher, you got to watch, you know, hours of YouTube until it clicks and it overrides the subconscious programming gifted to you by society and your collective and your parents. But as soon as those old outdated programs disappear, you are a child of the sun, which means the more childlike you are, the more you're going to manifest in your reality. The more you play, the less you're gonna to have to work. And I promise you guys this, I promise you, I have read no books. Yes, I have a science background, but that it was more of about, it was more about like cellular understanding than what I actually use today. How do I know about these black holes? I've been to them. Not in this conscious awareness, not in the gotta do my job. No, in that playful state of theta. So when you reach theta and gamma, Theta is exploration and choice. Gamma is no, I know. You want to get there. And the only way you're going to know is by allowing, surrendering, and letting go of what you think you know. 
The only thing I see that you need to do right now is let go of the shame of where you're supposed to be on your journey. What if you didn't come here? What if you're fully ascended? What if you're already a high priestess? What if you're already who you need to be? And now you need, instead of working so hard and shaming yourself so hard and thinking about your judgments of what you're doing that is bringing you so much joy, what if you just leaned in and played more and celebrated more? We came here for heaven on earth. It sounds like what you've been doing, girl, feels pretty good, right? Now, if it becomes destructive where you lose yourself, if it becomes destructive where you start to feel not good about yourself, that's when you alter your choices, right? And meditation should be about you connecting deeper with you, not you connecting deeper with something you think is bigger than you. There is nothing bigger than you. You are God. You are the essence of the universe. So whatever you use, whether it's sound, whether it's breath, whether it's music, whether it's hip hop, whether it's sex, whether it's whatever, if it connects you deeper with you, you're going to ascend faster. Now, the higher frequencies you get within you, the less you have to do in physical reality. Okay? So for me, if any of my time, relationships, health, or money stuff start to kind of tweak or not flow like a raging river, I look at where I don't feel safe, I don't feel free, I don't feel deserving, or I don't feel say, um, uh, worthy, and I fine-tune my vibration, and I find a trauma. So the one thing that I can tell you about your question is you're not doing anything wrong, but if you're being haunted by shame, then there's a lot of shame in your timeline that you are going to have to be responsible for cleaning up. But that's not about meditating. That's about deliberately diving in and finding that shame and unwiring it from your biological computer and letting it integrate into light. That's going to be your job, which is, to me, the only part of this we could even call a journey is the unlearning. You're not here to learn a damn thing. You know everything inside of you. Everything that the universe has experienced, your heart has a memory of it. Your heart is telepathic. Your heart is the gateway to the Akash. Your inner child knows every ounce of magic in this universe. But layers and layers and layers and layers and layers of programming, right? Tell us, don't be that, don't say that, don't think that. So then when we do start to live from this place, we have that voice, that critical voice going, oh, you really should be, you know, affirming right now. You really should be praying right now. You really should be taking another workshop right now. You really should be, no. And I, like I told you a couple of Q&As back is you all have to go through a healing journey. A healing journey is where not a lot of productivity takes place in your reality, but a lot of insight, a lot of clarity, a lot of unwiring, a lot of recollecting, reinstalling, rebooting happens, which is what we're in a global reset right now, which is why there's not a huge amount of productivity. We are healing the inner child within us by deliberately giving us all an excuse to not be socially connected in the physical so that we may go into our interior spaces and find home, find our truth. Okay. So you're not doing anything wrong. Matter of fact, I'd do more of it. I would just take some time with the shame comes up that shame is, is deep dived into. Because shame is going to haunt you. It was like I said in that second question. It was like, if my conscious mind is living my best life, my subconscious mind is shameful that I should be doing something else, and my unconscious mind is attached to suffering, you're not going to be fully enjoying the moment, are you? So your job is to play, 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 play. When you get triggered by the shame, you go into the shame. You reconcile. You recollect it. You integrate it. You come back and play some more. Okay? This is the, this is the only thing you're here to do on the planet.